Okay, let's talk about the FSA Algebra 1 EOC exam. So that's quite a title, and what this stands for, FSA is Florida Standards Assessment, and then the EOC is End of Course Exam. So if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you are a high school student in Florida, and obviously you're finishing up Algebra 1, and you're probably studying for the EOC. So that's uh, the, this video here is directed towards those of you out there in this situation. And what we're going to do here is take a look at a practice problem, an Algebra 1 level practice problem that you should be able to uh, handle uh, pretty well uh, if you expect to do, if you're fully prepared for the FSA Algebra 1 exam. So we'll get to this problem here in a second, but first I'm going to introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabit Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over several, several years I've created many online math courses. Um, and I've actually uh, created an FSA Algebra 1 EOC prep course. Extremely comprehensive. I'm going to leave uh, the link to that in the description of this video, but um, you can check that out uh, afterwards. But let's get to this problem. So uh, I have this right here. Now, I don't want to give you too many clues yet. Of course, I'm going to solve it. I'm going to give you an opportunity to figure this out, but I have this thing here. <laughs> okay. So, of course, I'm going to give you some more hints. But I want to see if you can, uh, those of you out there can recognize what this is. Okay, so this is something in algebra or in mathematics. Okay, and I'd like you to solve this. Okay, solve this. So you might want to go ahead and pause the video and do so. Now, for those of you that are not quite sure, I'm going to give you now a hint. Okay, so if you don't want to hear the hint, pause the video. But if you need a little bit of a hint before I fully solve it, uh, this is the hint, okay? So what are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about a system, all right? A system of equations this is a big topic in Algebra 1, okay? Linear systems, actually. So I want you to solve for X and Y, okay? X and Y. Now, a little bit more of a clue, okay? So, of course, if you don't want to hear this, you know, if you figure you could solve this problem on your own, do so, okay? But in Algebra 1, you learn various strategies on how to uh, solve systems, linear systems, okay? Uh, there's techniques, and they're extremely important uh, for you to know. So the first would be like the graphing method, okay? Now, I'm not going to fully explain this to you, uh, and I don't want to turn this into a full lesson on systems, as this is a huge topic. Then you would have the substitution method, and or the uh, linear combination or elimination method. So you need to know all three, but conceptually you need to know what a system represents, okay? And then of course how to solve systems. So now uh, hopefully all of this kind of has jogged your memory and you're like, oh, okay, I remember this stuff. Now I know how to solve this. So go ahead and uh, solve it if you know how to. Okay, so let's get to uh, the solution, okay? now. First of all, I'm going to uh I'm going to uh solve this without actually even doing any work, okay? You're going to say, "Well, what do you, <laughs> like how is that going to work?" Well, I'll show you this in a second. Well, first of all, we have to understand what are we talking about when we're discussing systems? Well, systems, okay? Graphically speaking, systems are basically two lines, okay, on the x y axis. So let me just quickly just do a little sketch here. So here's X and here's Y. So we would have maybe one line like so, line one, and then maybe another line like this. This would be like line two. And the intersection, okay, where these two lines cross is a particular coordinate, an order pair, right? An X, Y point on the X, Y uh, plane, okay? Now, this X, Y, where the, uh, this particular point is graphically how we interpret the so solution to a system. Okay, so when you're trying to solve systems, you can think of this as a line. Okay, this is one line and this is another line. And if I was to graph them and then look and see, hey, where those lines cross, that would be an illustration of the graphing method. But that's visually or graphically what's going on with the system. Now, again, I don't want to make this uh, uh, problem, you know, too long and turn it into a full lesson 
on systems. Okay, this is a big topic and it's something you need to know. Of course, I teach all of this and more in my prep course, but let's kind of get to the uh, what's going on here now. Okay, now if I'm looking at this, I have some sort of line. Okay, now this is the line y equals 2x plus 1. So it has a slope of 2, okay, and a y-intercept of 1. So it would maybe go through, well, it is going to go through the y-axis uh, at 1, okay, and have a slope of 2. So maybe some, whoops, that's not good. Maybe something like that, okay, would be, let's call this line 1. Now, Let's take a, look, take a look at the second line, okay? This second line also has a slope of two, but has a different y-intercept. So what does that mean to you, okay? Well, hopefully you're saying, oh, this line, okay, is parallel, all right? This is gonna go through, this first line is gonna go through the y-axis at uh, one, and the second line is gonna go through the y-axis at negative five. So here's line two, here's line one, here's line two. So the situation is what? Well, these lines are parallel. They're never going to cross, okay? So what does that mean? Well, if lines never cross, when we're talking about uh, learning your systems, there is no solution. So here, the answer is uh, no uh, solution, okay? So the way you could have seen this is just notice that, hey, we're dealing with two lines. They have the same slope, but different y-intercept. <coughs> Excuse me. So there would be no solution. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and actually do a little bit more work. All right. And let's say algebraically uh, we wanted to see what was going on. So we could use the substitution method. So I have y is equal to 2x minus 5. So I'll replace this y with this stuff right here. So you can use a substitution method. So... I'll replace this y with this, okay? So that's going to be 2x minus 5 is equal to 2x plus 1. Now, if I solve for x, what's going to happen here, okay? Well, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation, and I end up with 0, okay, minus 5 equals 1, or negative 5 is equal to 1, and that makes no sense, okay? You're like, well, what's going on? This is a, uh, a false statement. So when you get a situation where the left does not equal the right, okay, when you're trying to solve a system, that's an indication that there is no solution. Okay, but graphically speaking, you're dealing with parallel lines. Okay, so just a little bit of a, uh, a follow-through on algebraically how to approach this problem. But again, you need to have a really big grasp on systems amongst a lot of other topics uh, to be ready for the FSA Algebra 1 EOC, okay? Lots of material there. Quadratic equations, radical equations, rational equations, uh, how to find the equation of lines, graph lines, et cetera, et cetera, and of course, systems. And there's a lot more topics uh, with systems we can get into. So let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Now, hopefully you got this problem right. So that's pretty cool if you did. Uh, congratulations, but by no means is that validation that you're ready for the entire FSA uh, Algebra 1 EOC. Okay, a lot of other topics. If you didn't get uh, the problem right, don't panic. Okay, hopefully you have enough time to um, study. I really like to stress to those of you out there watching my videos, always start with what your teacher is saying. Use all that, uh, their material and guidance first. But if you need a supplement uh, beyond that, you definitely, you know, so a course like mine could definitely help you out. So again, I'm going to leave the link to my FSA Algebra 1 EOC prep course in the description of this video. But if you're new to my channel, hopefully you consider subscribing. I'm posting math videos all the time. If you like this video, I definitely appreciate it. a thumbs up. And leave me some feedback. You know, how do you like uh, Algebra 1? It's a very, very important course, extremely important, because it really sets the foundation for the rest of your high school mathematics, okay? So even if you didn't like Algebra 1, it's important that you do what you have to do to, you know, um, understand uh, uh, this course, okay? Because a lot of other things are going to be uh, going to be built of, on top of your understanding of Algebra 1. So uh, very, very important. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the FSA Algebra 1 EOC exam. Uh, I thank you for your time. And have a great day.